Hey guys, what's up? Wolverine 10. And uh, I know I promised this video a long time ago, and it is long overdue. And I promised you guys that I will be doing a review, or at least like an overview, of the uh, uh, Honeycomb Operating System 3.2. So once I boot the device, this is what you're gonna see. This is the way it comes first time out of the box. Uh, this is like the home screen, and uh, you know, uh, basically, this operating system, the 3.2, was the first operating system made by Google which is optimized for tablets. Uh, the other operating systems which came before, uh, Froyo and all those others, they were basically 2.1, 2.2. They were, you know, uh, uh, Froyo and Gingerbread also. They were aimed towards uh, smartphones, you know, they were not uh, having the resolution for tablets. So this is the first operating system that came for uh, tablets, you know, larger screens. So once you boot up the device, this is what you'll see. There is a clock, uh, you know, a small clock here. And uh, basically you press anywhere on the screen, you'll get this like a, you know, uh, like a lock sign, a circle with a lock sign. And you just have to click and drag. That's the way you unlock your screen. So one, what you're seeing here is the you know the the first uh, screen which is the home screen and you can have multiple widgets on it there is like uh, you know there is a digital clock and a weather widget and there is like a picture frame and all those we'll get into different details about them and how you can you know customize them so what you uh, the interface that uh, Samsung is having is called the touchwiz and uh, there have been some positive feedback about that and some negative feedback personally i feel it is quite intrusive and it is it, it basically slows down your device a lot there are much better options for you if you want to change the way you know or customize the way your device looks so there there's a lot of different options that you can consider on top here you have the google uh, search bar uh, sorry the search icon you can click on it and you can do all sorts of search if you want to you know from google this there is a home icon here you can press on it and it takes you back to the home screen you can also do voice search and uh, I'm, I'm sure it's not you know as good as Siri uh, but they are really you know they have improved a lot over time so what you're looking here is the, is the uh, voice search now it's I'm, not, I'm sure it's not as good as Siri but it's uh, they have actually improved a lot so if I click on it who is the president of United States you see it's quite responsive and it quite it's quite fast and it gives you the answer so uh, although it's not comparable to Siri but I think so they're really they have improved a lot from the previous version from gingerbread so that's that's voice navigation uh, sorry voice search and uh, if you want to go to your apps there is you, know, you can see here a small I'm not sure if you can see but there is a small apps icon here yeah, it's written apps and there is like an app drawer you can click on it and basically this is your app drawer so all your apps that you're installing from um, from the Google Marketplace are residing here. Now what I don't like about the 3.2, uh, um, this is my experience thus far. Um, anytime you're trying to customize something and it's like, uh, you know, you're getting either a new app or you're making any changes to the drawers, you can see that there is lag. And this is, I'm not sure if it is because of the um, Android operating system, the 3.2, or this is something because of uh, the you know the overlay which is done by Samsung. I've uh, I've s seen some reviews about uh, about this and people are basically complaining about the touchwiz. They're not as much talking about the Android 3.2. They say that the Honeycomb system is not that bad, but basically what Samsung does is that they put this overlay on top, which is this the system you know these the scrolling windows that you see here so every manufacturer like you know uh, uh, Nexus or LG or Asus they're coming up with their own customizations to the operating system and for for Samsung they came up with this which is the TouchWiz so if there is a way to disable this now there are ways uh, I'll go into another video maybe showing you some other alternates that you can use uh, instead of using the TouchWiz which will help you improve uh, the, the performance of your tablet dramatically. So TouchWiz is not the best answer and if you're having any sort of uh, lag or something like this it's because of the uh, the TouchWiz. So what you're seeing here is basically the interface 
and uh, there is a there is a back button here there is a home button what you see here there are like two folder icons if you click on it this will show you uh, all your recent apps that you have uh, you know that you've been using so uh, and if you want to pull out your settings you can just drag like this you know from the bottom right screen bottom right side of the screen and it gives you you know all your uh, just you know quick settings like Wi Fi toggle switch your notification GPS sound vibration all those you know uh, things that you require uh, you know on a, on a quick basis you can go to settings and go into further details if you want to you know because not all the settings on, on are there if I go to about just to make sure you know this is Android 3.2 and I'm sure you know about this. This is the little, uh, you know, Easter egg, I would say. Anyway, so coming back to the home screen, um, wh what's nice about this one, sometimes when you're cramped up with space, you're not having enough uh, space for the icons on the home screen and you want more data, they have added another, uh, like another, uh, you know, uh, button bar, I would say, or I don't know how to how to phrase it you can see there's a small icon pointing you know it's like a pointer pointing upwards if you click on it it opens another tray which gives you more options to uh, to put you know some frequently used applications if you just click down it goes away so it's like another app drawer on top of the you know the current icons and you can of course customize them as you want to there is an option to edit so um, and also what you see here next to the apps drawer there's like a plus sign when you click on it this is where honeycomb I, I, I believe really you know exceeds and uh, it, it really improves and shows a lot of different options so what you're looking at is the uh, uh, there's an option to customize your live wallpaper and basically all the U the UI you can control from this uh, from this position you can see I'm having right now one two three four five five screens you can click on the plus sign here and you can add another screen if you want to so if I click on here I have another screen now so I'm now having seven if I go back home I have seven screens this is first second third and so on and so forth and let's go back here so from here you can also not only you can set the wallpaper and add additional pages to your home screen you can also go to app shortcuts and you can uh, all the, you know the uh, frequently used applications that you want to have on your home screen you can just pin them up from here you can make a app shortcut and you can just add it so for example let's say I'm on this screen now as you can see the screen is empty you can click on plus as you can see now it's highlighted so for example I want to put Missionarium this is a you know a Google game and you can see it just fly away over here so if I go back here there is my shortcut again going back so this is this is how you put uh, you know shortcuts for your apps you can also put more stuff which is you know you can make multiple folders some customized settings uh, anything basically that is ap appearing as an icon you can you can pin it up to your uh, page if you want to you can also make folders uh, like you have for example um, you know a lot of camera applications uh, picture application applications uh, social stuff you can just make a folder and put all of them in there so I instead of you know you search uh, spending too much time searching around you can just uh, you know go to your home screen and see it from there uh, one more thing which is I think so the beauty of Android as compared to iOS is the widgets so once you come to the widgets now here you can go bananas you can put as many visit widgets as you want to there are basically widgets for everything there is weather agenda there's a clock I mean you can just keep on going and going and and the more applications you install the more widgets you're getting so uh, bookmarks you know contacts uh, dual clocks whatever you want to and it's so easy like for example let's uh, let me go back here this is a clean page I didn't uh, get anything there so let's add a widget for example I want to use uh, Gmail click on it bam it goes there I go here I have my Gmail and the best part is if I want to drag and make it larger I can just pull it like this and almost I can get a full screen you know widget for Gmail 
and if I don't want to, if I want to remove it, just hold it, sorry, yeah, just hold it like this, and you will get, you can see there, on top, there is a trash can, and it's saying remove. I can just click and drag, and it's gone. So, again, going back here, for example, I want to have, uh, let's say, a, a clock, a digital clock. Click, add another one add let's see uh, what else do I need maybe weather and agenda now if I go back here bam you've got everything over there if I don't like something I'll just click and drag click and drag and like you know likewise you can you can just customize it as you want to this is the beauty of Android guys this is the the best part about Android they are you know giving you all the flexibilities to put as much content as you want to and you can make it appear as per your convenience so this is where all the magic happens widgets app shortcuts wallpapers and everything that you want to add you can add it from there going back home um, yeah I think so this is pretty much the gist of it you know uh, now that the uh, there, there are newer versions as you know I'm filming this video very late so uh, the Android 4.0 is already out which is the uh, which was the you know ice cream sandwich and then there was 4.1.2 uh, which is a jelly bean and then and now they're talking about you know uh, key lime pie which is going to be the next major upgrade so if you want to if you want to stay with the um, uh, 3.2 for some reason although there are better options out there I, I still I fully uh, you know believe that and I vote for that you have to get rid of the touch with if you want to have you know a better experience without the lag it's better for you to get uh, you know a third-party launcher application that would really help you I'm sure you can see there is a certain lag and I've seen it in, on other you know um, uh, Android devices it, it is a different operating it, it's the same operating system but a different experience so maybe it's Samsung because of the TouchWiz, as I said before, or I don't know what's the reason. But Android 3.2, it's a very stable system. It is optimized for tablets, but I believe it's slow, and there are better options. If you're already on 3.2, you should really think about uh, upgrading to Ice Cream Sandwich, which is the version 4.0. And if you can think about you know moving to Jelly Bean, that's the best option. That's the best operating system from Android most stable and it's uh, it really you know helps I improve the the quality of your your experience of uh, of the device so uh, this is it from me uh, this was a quick overview in the next video i'll be showing you uh, some other you know cool uh, stuff for, for the uh, oh one more thing before i miss it if you uh, right now what you're seeing on the background is the uh, official uh, you know the uh, uh, sorry the official wallpaper that comes from samsung for example, I want to change it. I can click here, go to wallpapers. Now, if I select a live wallpaper, the service really, the, the quality really slows down. So, let's say, for example, I take um, Matrix, this one. This is a wallpaper. I want to set it up, go back. Now, I can, you can see here. Okay, there's you can see the lag now, really slowing down. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Anytime you're putting something, any kind of customization, the device really suffers because of the touchways. And the same will be with the app drawer also. So anytime you're trying to do any customization, the Android 3.2 is really you know lagging, and there is you can really feel it stuttering. So I think so this problem they resolved it with the uh, ice cream sandwich and uh, you can also get rid of this problem mostly if you just remove the TouchWiz uh, interface. So if you want to learn more about how to do that just uh, stick around the channel and in the next video I'll be showing you how to get rid of it. So till next, peace out.